The game of football has now been around for 150 years. College football has been around for 150 years. But this man, Corey Davis, is the only man in the history of college football with 300 plus catches, 5,000 plus yards, and 50 plus touchdown receptions. Now you think about that. In the history of the game, you're the only guy to do that in college football. How does that make you feel? It's pretty crazy. Um, you know, just looking back on it, just seeing all the work, you know, not only me, but all the whole team put in, you know, back when I was in college. You know, it was pretty, pretty humbling just to see, like I said, all the work put in and how it all paid off. So definitely great. You would think that Corey Davis is the most famous football player to come out of his high school based on those numbers, but that's not true. Your high school is almost as old as, as football. It goes back to 1876. Red Wheaton, Range. Wheaton, Warrenville South, Red Grange, the Galloping Ghost. So uh, he went to your high school. So how much do you know about the legendary college and pro football Hall of Famer? Uh, a little bit about him. Um, like you said, I mean, he's, he's obviously the greatest, you know, to ever come out of our high school. Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, to not to, you know, hear about him. Um, he's everywhere. You know, his face is everywhere all around the school. Um, <laughs> they used to call him the Ice Man because he used to carry around a big block of ice and just chip it off, you know, back in the day. You know, just going door to door, giving people ice. But he was a uh, great player. You know, watched a few of his, a few of his highlights from what they what they had back then. A great player. How so? How did you become aware of him in high school? I actually knew about him before I got to high school. You know, played a little little league football around there. His name was everywhere. Obviously, he's just a great player. All right. So let me ask you this: Other famous people went to your high school, mm -hmm. including John Belushi, who you obviously didn't know. His brother Jim Belushi, though, was he ever around? Uh, I never saw him, but he was, I heard his name, you know, buzzing around a few times. <laughs> now, who's almost as famous as Adoree Jackson? Adoree Jackson is almost <laughs> as famous. Now, Adoree and you, it is so fun to watch the two of you. You come in in the first round together in 2017. You battle in practice. You have a very special relationship. What does that mean to you on and off the field that you and Adoree are really a pair of guys. Yeah, Dory is a cool dude. Um, he's a great player. Um, you know, he's he's always coming to work. You know, day in and day out, he's ready to go out there and, and get after it and you know perfect his craft, which is one of the things you know I really respect about him. But off the field, he's real cool too. I feel like he's he's definitely one of the funniest guys in the locker room if you really you know get to talk to him. But um, he's just a blessing to be around. You know him and you know a lot of the other guys on the team. Real real good locker room. Adoree is the guy, though, that has more of the wide receiver personality. Yeah. You're more of the reserve guy. Wide receivers are usually kind of boisterous guys, um, but that's not you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit more reserved, um, you know, not as outgoing as, as most, but, um, you know, that's, that's who I am. But you compete. Yeah, no doubt. You like to compete. I love it. So you, you're saying you don't have to show that outwardly to truly be a competitor. Yeah, I mean, you don't gotta, you don't gotta talk a lot to go out there and, and get after someone. Um, you gotta more so show it, especially in this sport. What would you be doing if you weren't playing football? That's a great question. That is a great question. I, would, I feel like I'd be around the sport somehow, coaching or you know something like that. Do you see yourself potentially coaching like your position coach, Rob Moore, who was a great player in the league? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, starting off, um, Maybe with you know, little kids, high school, somewhere around there, um, kind of work my way up. What does the game of football mean to you in that way? It means everything. You know, um, you know I kind of tie it in. You know, football is like, is like life, you know, on the field. Um, you never know what's, what's going to get thrown at you. You know, there's ups and there's downs, but you got to handle it, you know, kind of as it comes. You know, it's the ultimate team sport. You got to rely on your, your brother next to you that he's going to give everything, you know, that he's got, and you got to do the same thing.